Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with more iRacing this time around 2023 season 1. Yes it's finally here and we're jumping in immediately with the all new Toyota GR Cup. Yes obviously enjoyed the test drive we did of this thing around Sebring last week. If you missed out that video I would highly recommend going back and checking out. So they brought out a 15 minute sprint series for the Toyotas. It's D license. It's probably going to be carnage, but quite a few of the tracks seem quite good. And today, we head to Virginia International Raceway, a track I think I've only ever done a couple of races on, on the iRacing platform. But, you may notice as well, on the bottom right-hand side of your, oh, bottom left-hand side of your screen, sorry, if you look just below me, we've got an A license. Yes, Mercedes W13 races will be coming to the channel, but today we've got to get into qualifying. Let's go out there and try and get a good lap on the board. Whoa! Big, big snap of oversteer there as we try to go down in towards the final couple of corners. So it is only going to be my first lap that is our valid one there. And that's probably going to compromise us quite a bit because it felt like the car was getting a lot, lot quicker on that second run. Just a big mistake down at the hairpin and then down in the final sector. So no idea really where we're going to be starting this one. But it's a very, very high SOF lobby for me. 2.9k. Um, so we, we probably are going to be one of the back markers. Right, well, headed down through the final couple of corners then. For the first time ever, I've actually got voice chat enabled on iRacing as well. I did Jimmy Broadbent's 23-hour endurance at the weekend, so we needed it for that. And thought, you know what, we'll leave it on in the future. But for whatever reason, we've got a formation lap around VIR, uh, which has taken about two days, if my maths hasn't failed me. But down in towards the final couple of corners, we're starting P18 as the number 17 car. I guess we've just got to try and pick up the pieces here if we want to gain any iRating. But fingers crossed... We can just have a good oh, opening good race luck, to the season. Good luck, everyone. Let's get into this thing. I've been Ooh, doing it. Already that going. I've been left a little bit behind go, there. Go. I think the back three. We've all been slightly left. Minutes As it is left. green flag racing then for 2023 season one. Let's see what we can do. As we head down in towards the first corner, will it be carnage to kickstart the new campaign? Only time will tell. There seems to be a couple of cars right a little side. bit offline, but. I mean, this is a fairly high SOF lobby, so you'd hope it's going to be fairly Hold clean. We've got Guy right side's on our inside there. We should be able to put the power down off the corner. And yeah, I mean, we're not the lowest I rating person here, but we're certainly sort of within the bottom four. 
Um, so, you know, I think a lot of it will be trying to pick up pieces. You know, VIR uh, is generally quite a... It's, you know, a very, very fun track. I do really enjoy it, actually, on iRacing. But it is one of those circuits that can catch you out in weird ways at times. So just kind of driving at 95% is probably going to be the key around here. And also, of course, you know, it's first race in a new car. You never really quite know how they're going to race each other either. You know, whether the slipstream stream is going to be really effective or whether it is just going to be sort of sitting fairly line of so, And I think the key in this thing, of course, is because it's fixed setups... Uh, unfortunately, we've still got traction control on, which I'm not really convinced this car needs, to be honest. So down through the hairpin, where I made my mistake on my qualifying run, that's probably going to be where you can try and get a good run on someone. I'm actually leaving it in second through the hairpins, almost into the back of the guy in front. That had to bring it down to first. I don't know which is better, to be honest, first or second through that. I feel like second is going to be the way to go, but you just don't know for sure. As you can see, all the Toyotas... Line stern as we head up the monstrous back straight that makes up VIR. You don't really get tracks like this anymore in the world of motorsport. But yeah, it seems like it's been fairly clean on that one. It's only going to be about a seven lap race, I think. We might just squeeze an eighth out of it. There's a little tiny bit of movement under braking there, as the car did not want to steer and brake at high speed, rather understandably. But threading the needle down the hill in towards these final couple of corners. This is sort of the good traditional eye racing sort of race and you want where you know it does feel like a real race you know everyone's been fairly sensible that one you know we've all got our and nice new shiny gr86 is there we go someone just confirming in chat but, you know we, we all do want to try and keep it fairly clean and tidy on this opening lap there as you know we've just got to try and sort of see what we can do we're definitely not 13 that crew chief is lying to me um but just got to try and pick up spots where we can here feels like there's Luke, kind of a bit of room then. Forming towards the back of the pack, of course, yeah, we've got what a big eye rating sort of shake-up, so we are probably going to see the field spread out a little bit, but also about just about trying to be methodical uh, with your moves as well, you know, it is really about trying to read everything around you, and sometimes you'll get it wrong, sometimes you'll get it right, um, but just trying to be patient as well, and, you know, letting the race come to you is going to be key, it's only 15 minutes, so you have got to get your elbows out a little bit, but... I feel like in these sorts of cars, it's going to be quite easy to lose a lot of time as well if you end up doing something stupid. As we wind our way back up through the S's once again, fifth gear completely pinned throughout the entirety of these. It's just about how much curb you try and get away with as well, but so far keeping it fairly clean and tidy. So we head through one of my favourite corners of that fourth gear there, full commitment on the exit. Just starting to lose touch slightly with the cars in front, just got to keep it super balanced try to avoid the famous tree of course not there anymore as oh there we go that's what i mean just one little mistake from anzor in front of us and immediately you've just got to be there ready to paint and we have completed the move then our first of 2023 season one i'm in a p17 back where it reckons i should be in this race but it would be nice to try and you know maybe pick up a tiny bit of eye racing if possible let's just focus all oh, there we go side by side up the road as well so the slipstream now the field's starting to spread out a little bit, starting to show itself as we head down in towards the final couple of corners. Super easy to pick one up, one X is up there. You can get away with a lot of curve around most of this lap, but that corner is not one of them. Let's just trying to keep the car balanced through these final couple of turns. You kind of want to compromise the penultimate corner there to make sure you can take the final turn completely flat. Um, but, you know, we're not in a bad position here, as you can see, side by side again. A red car is going to muscle his way to the inside there. I think that's Martin on Dan. So they're going to be side by side back down in towards the first turn. 2 minute 10.7 is not a bad lap time. Of course, helped by the slipstream. But you know, you've got to keep it on the island as well. There it looks like Martin has pulled off the move then. Nice to see some good little liver as well on this car. But I mean, the rest of the pack's not getting away too badly. So there is certainly still... You know, a lot of slipstream to be had. You've got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to go. Nail every Already corner. One Let's take distance, we can. Very, very short races. Like, sort of like that. You know, in a car like this, it kind of sorts 15, 20 minute races. You know, sort of get in, get qualifying done. Don't really feel like a formation lap is necessary. One well, might be nice to do rolling starts on these, but I get that, of course, you know, D-license rolling, uh, sanding starts are probably going to be chaos down at Turn 1, especially sort of in lower SOF lobbies as people try and go for heroics, but yeah, I feel like in higher SOF stuff like this should be alright. 
almost getting quite a good run there on James. She just hesitated a little bit through the next corner. Oh, we got another slow car. This is what I mean. Like picking up the pieces. Someone stopped on the right. Oi! A couple of cars gone. And a lot of backing up there. So lots going on now. And now we're right in the thick of it. As we're going to try and follow James, I think. Dan, sorry, even. He's still there. Try and just help him along. Still there. We're still side by side. This is what you want to see in the Toyota's pack racing like this. Gets very, very scary. So I kind of just boxed in a little bit. Looks like the black car is going to back out of it. And we're going to try and slot back in these two still side by side. But you can race door to door in these cars as well as the 20. Just slots back in once again there. And we picked up another few spots then. So that's what I mean. You've just got to be there. Got to be at the right place at the right time. Oh, we're going to get a nice run, but nothing we can do about it. Get to the inside. There we go. Somehow just the door still opened there. up at the very last moment. We'll try not to still there. get too far over the pit lane line. Hold your line. So we head back down towards someone. And oh, they're still side still by left. side up the road, though. It's all kicking off at the moment. That's what you want to see. This is brilliant little manufacturer fix racing. Whoa, no, that's not what you want to see, though. Someone's been shot around. There's plenty of contact there down at turn one. They're going to try and slot left. through as well. Try and Still there. pick up the pieces. Still there. And he's going to stay on the inside. Clear and we're just going to have to back out of that one. It's the first, well, second big incident then of the day. It's just going to be very, very careful. They're not getting rear-ended either. But it's all kicking off then. The first lap was pretty undramatic. That's going to be a 1x. Yeah, first lap was pretty undramatic, but since then, it is starting to kick off a little bit more. So yeah, definitely not going to pick up many instant points. Of course, D license, very, very extreme for the 1Xs. You know, you can't get away with them. Or it's really the contact and the off. Uh, sorry, the loss of controls though that really hamper you. But that's what we desperately got to try and avoid. Quite surprised you get 17x still in this. Wouldn't be surprised if they lowered it down to 12 for this sort of thing, but apparently not. Just heading down here again. This way, you got to be really, really smooth on the brakes. But again, we've just got a little pack of four cars here. As yeah, it doesn't seem like first or second gear really makes much of a difference then. Um, but I mean, yeah, we're almost into the top ten, so I'm not doing badly at the moment. Just trying to pick up the pieces. These guys keep battling the way they have been. There's every opportunity we could still try and get a good result. Is what you can just see there again. Side by side as we head down this back straight once more. How many times have we said that so far today? It only really seemed like that one. Things were fairly calm. There's a big, big wiggle there from the 11 car at the front of this little train. But, of course, yeah, you can have quite a big eye rating difference. But it seems like Slipstream is quite potent in these cars as we just head through the final couple of turns. Traction Control wanted to kick in then, but luckily we launched it and got the car stable again off the corner. And looks like, again, James... He's got a nice run so we head back down in towards the first turn. He's going to pull to the outside Three. of Jun, who's going to try and carry it. There we go, James switches back to the inside, ready for the first corner. Are we going to be able to do anything? Oh, he's going to go again aggressive on the defence there. You can see oh, more contact between them. And we've just kind of got to wait in the wings. Not quite going to be able to get the run off the corner. They've just had a little bit... Used. There's a big bump on the outside of turn one here that... Hey, Thanks for that. It's not going to do us any favours. Yeah, there's a big bump out of Turn 1 around here. That In these cars, because they can still be quite floaty in comparison to a lot of the very, very stiff race cars you get on the sim, it does mean that if you kind of go out there, it then really will understeer out wide, of course, as it just tries to resettle itself. But, yeah, we can't lose touch with these three. I mean, there's another two battling just up the road, but this one... Seems to be the elbows are coming out between these guys a bit more, and there's certainly going to be more chances to try and capitalize if possible. As it's going to quite close to the grass on the outside. Only five minutes left. Oh, we got another one gone. Please don't rejoin. Yellow flag. Watch out. Look at this. We've got more yellow flags. I don't know if that was just the car that we've jumped or what. Can we try and get a good run though off the corner? Yes, we can. Left side. Try and get to the inside. It's going to be the outside though, down the end of the straight. We've got to hope that these guys give me some slipstream. Side by side with Jim, one of the only people here with less eye rating than me, so he's done pretty Still well there. up to this point. But are we going to be able to get past Hold him? 
We kind of got the outside for the kink, but then the inside for the next proper corner. So maybe we can hook this still up there. around the outside. Let's wait and see. Just clear left. <laughs> big, big sideways moment there. That's what the GT86 is known for. But we do complete the move, and we're now up into P11. It must be, of course, because we picked up that other car just a moment ago. But oh, don't run wide, don't run wide. Another one going slowly. No one gets another one going slowly. That's yeah, Luis. Man, I was trying to leave you safe. Are we going to be able to get a run back now towards so someone? This has been a fantastic race up to now. Sorry to do that. Is Martinez. Tenth position. Look to the inside. Left side. Hold your line. Can't go very, very aggressive on the brakes on this thing. Come Still on, mate. There. I'm there. Clear left. And just Car turn left. in. Clear so we'll get another one as well. What on earth is happening at the moment? We're just picking up places. I don't know how that one was a zero X. To be honest, felt like there was fairly substantial contact, but we all got away with it. I've got no idea what position we're up to now, but not long left of this race. We definitely don't want much more than 5x, and now I think the goal's got to be try and run away from these cars behind us. So we thread our way back through, well, technically they're S's, but they don't really feel like it, because you can pretty much straight line all of them. I've only got a couple of minutes left to go, though. It is only going to extend to, I think, the end of lap 7. We're only going to have one more after this one. It's going to be quite close, still. So we'll try and just hang on behind Mikhail now, as you can see, eight tenths up on my fastest of the day so far. It is just through here that I still feel like I'm not quite able to get as much as I feel like I should out of the car, but sometimes you get that in these slower cars around the slower circuits. That can sometimes be the way things go. I think we might be up to eighth place then. So, uh, what would that be? Ten spots so far we've picked up in this race, which would not be shabby at all as we get ready to start the final lap. There we've got 1.1 seconds over James behind us, and yeah, we really just have been right place at the right time in a few scenarios here, but this is what I said right at the start. You've just got to be there, ready to pick up the pieces, and sometimes you'll get it wrong, sometimes you will get it right as down the hill we go through the roller coaster. Just it's actual corner left, name, I'm not just making that up. Two minutes left, though, of this race. Let's try now. I mean, Mikhail isn't looking particularly confident, but one more to go, then, I think. We should see the white flag. There we go. Let's get on with this thing. Maybe, just maybe, we can try and get a run on Mikhail if we can stick close to him through the first few corners. You can see we've actually got a lot of speed. Eighth place. Yeah, back down one towards to turn one. I'm not going to send it. Didn't feel confident enough there. Do not want another 4x, because Mikhail... I can already see today has been fairly aggressive with his defending on occasion. We might try and get a run, though, down the back straight. That's probably going to be our best chance to do anything here on this final lap. So I don't really need second through there, but we'll accidentally downshift, and we will just sort of gather it all back up again. You know, these cars, you know, you can chuck them around quite a lot, but because of the traction control, sometimes smoothness is still the key. As you can just see there, yeah, we are really applying some pressure to Mikhail at the moment. So, loving this late on in the day. Are we going to be able to do anything in towards the back straight? We're actually going to get quite a good run on him up through the S's, but definitely not going to be able to try anything here. Might just show the nose to the inside, but we won't actually go for anything there. So, I can just see through there. We are still not as confident as a lot of other drivers, but can we try and get a good run then? through the hairpin. This is where it gets really important. Just trying to be super smooth, but Mikhail's done a good job. That might be enough to upset us there. He's going to do everything he possibly can to try and break the slipstream, but he's going to be far enough away. We're not going to be able to do anything down here. We've just got to now try and get a good run out of the final corner. Although, saying that, we are gaining quite rapidly, actually, as we head down this back straight. Let's just not count our chickens just yet. It's just a handful of corners to go then in this race. We're not going to send it here again. But we are going to try and get a good run Whoa. at the final few corners. You can just see there, got very, very close to his rear bumper, but it is going to require a mistake from him. Oh, just mate, I was committed to you making pressure. a mistake. I've got the straight line speed. Oh, come on. Come on, he hasn't got the best run. We might be on. Oh, no, I don't think we're going to... It's going to be close. It is going to be close up towards the line, but I don't think we've quite got enough this time around. GG's, Mikhail. Good fun battle on that final lap. But we are going to come through 
for P8 then over the line. Very, very happy with that one from 18th on the grid. Ten places in 15 minutes is not bad going around this track. But yeah, let's go have a look at those Damn, final race you results. Make a mistake, Matty. You make a well, yeah, there we go then. Having a look at our final race results. 52 I rating gain. 0.07 SR lost for the 5X there. A little bit gutted uh, with that one, to be honest. But, you know, we did pretty comparable uh, to a lot of cars there. Mikhail uh, with a few more instant points than myself. But, yeah, it is Brad that takes home the win ahead of Wayne there. So the number one and the number two cars right at the front. Timo as well doing fantastically. 93 I rating gained for him but thank you all so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed please do make sure you leave a like get yourself subscribed and we will be back definitely with more gt gr86 racing in the near future i don't think we even paused for a breath in that one it was just lights to flag fun action